Hey Samuel, how you doing? I'm doing great. Nice how to you doing? see you again. Another year, another Nam, right? Absolutely. So uh, Zoom, we've got a whole bunch of new stuff, right? We do. We are. Uh, we have announced replacements for our three best-selling handheld audio recorders: the H1, the H4, and the H6. Right. Okay. And there are some really big upgrades for all of these, and the biggest one is 32-bit float recording, and that means that it's impossible to clip your inputs. You don't have to set gain. And the entire dynamic spectrum is recorded at equal quality, meaning you don't have to set the gain because if it's a low volume, you can bring it up in post-production. If it's too hot, you can bring it down without affecting the sound quality of the audio. And so it's an incredibly safe way to record, especially if you're going to have to kind of set it and forget it and you're not going to be viewing your level meters. Um, and. Uh, and just makes, you know, avoids mistakes, easier to use, and, uh, and makes, you know, recording even more fun. Uh, so we're going to start with the H1 Essential. You've got your stereo XY mics up top. you got a little lav input on the right side of the unit that you can use. Right. Put your SD card in a little below that. Runs on two AAA batteries. And uh, you could use it as a USB microphone um, for c PC, Mac, Android, iOS. OK, I have a question, though. Yeah. So 32-bit with no gain, if you're using it as a USB audio microphone, yeah. how do you get the gain optimum into your final Sure, delivery? so when you go into audio interface mode, there is a volume control there that you can use um, to get the levels right going into wherever you're going, especially if you're using a phone. Right, OK, yep. good. Uh, back from there, we're going to go to the H4. And the H4, you've got your two X mics up top plus two XLR TRS inputs. Uh, now, anybody familiar with the old H4, I'll tell you all about the great upgrades. One, you've got a nice color screen on there. Two, you've got quiet controls. Now, you don't have to adjust the game like you did on the old one. However, um, we still made those adjustments silent in case there's anything you need to do while you're recording. There is also Bluetooth wireless control available if you have our BTA1 Bluetooth adapter. You can connect to our iOS app and control oh, remotely you. all of your when recording. When you've got it a bit on, on the top of a big stick at the back of a room, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Um, so uh, this one runs on two, two double A's, records to the SD card, all these up to a terabyte on the SD card, so plenty of storage space. And um, one of the other interesting things is when you're in USB audio interface mode, you can actually record to the SD card at the same time. Yay. For our streaming setup, you'll be able to record a backup to the SD and do uh, and do your recording uh, and streaming over USB. Just like I can do on our Zoom P4 pod track, which we're using today. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Excellent to see. Then we go to the H6. And this is your six channel. So you've got four XLR TRS combo inputs plus your capsule. And this capsule has been upgraded. Uh, it's an upgraded system from the previous model because it needs to support 32-bit float. So no gain knob on there. You have the XY mics here. We'll have two others available um, in the coming months. One is the stereo shotgun microphone. You can turn off the side mic and also use it as a mono shotgun. And a capsule with two extra inputs so you can get six microphones going into the H6 Essential here. Uh, we have our SD card on this side. Again, silent controls. Like the H4 Essential, we have this mixer button, and that brings you into Powered off there. So hitting the mixer button brings you into your mixer controls, and you can adjust all the levels for your headphone mix. But again, no gain for the actual recording. You don't right. need it in 32-bit float. That's just if you need a mix for your headphones, you'll be able to do that. Uh, does the headphone mix also pass through to USB audio mode, or is? Uh, yes, yes, it does. So how, is, is it two-channel in USB audio mode, or? Uh, no, full channel, full six-channel. That's going to be interesting because uh, what's the uh, USB connection? Are you USB using USB uh, on the side? USB C. Hey, bye bye mini. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be using the latest. Hopefully everything is one connector. Well, I'm guessing those people who are interested in using, uh, say, uh, the new iPhone Pro yep. Max with the uh, 15 Pro with the USB C. Just the, a USB C to C cable. With the Black Magic yep. camera, you can multi-track into your camera app, which is pretty cool. You know what? Cool. I actually don't know about you that can. one. But yeah, you can. That, yeah. Uh, that would be a fantastic application. Yeah, so six tracks to your footage synced. Wow. Ooh, nice. That's amazing. Yeah. OK, well, that's that sounds great. Do you, have you got prices on these? Are they staying the same? Uh, so $99.99 for the H1 Essential, $199.99 for the H4 Essential, 
and two ninety nine for the H six essential. Wow. Okay. Cool. I'll tell you about one more feature on these, and this is a special one for certain users. We built in accessibility for visually impaired creators. It's a voice guidance system. Um, that will read out the menus and give you beep indications for adjustments like head and volume and everything so that uh, even more creators are able to navigate oh, nice. and use these recorders. Um, that's available in seven languages on all three of the products. Wow, that's pretty good going. Anything else new for the show or are we done? Uh, no, uh, these are all of our new recorders. Um, really, our biggest launch is in a long time. You know, The old H6 was around for 10 years and uh, we really can't wait for people to get their hands on the new ones. Thank you very much, Simon. Thank you.